Onsets is a resource allocation game that deals with set theory, the fundamental ideas underlying modern mathematics. It was created by Lamini e. Allen, Peter Kugel, and Martin Owens. Onsets inspires constant and intensive problem solving throughout the game. On every move, players must consider all possibilities from what they understand about set theory and choose the most appropriate concepts to apply in finding solutions. This develops the ability for maintaining broad awareness of available resources while focusing sharply on the most relevant ideas. The game develops fundamental skills for effective decision making in life. The concept of sets in the game is defined by having a collection of cards with various colored dots on them turned up at the start of play to represent a universal set. For example, suppose we turn up the following seven cards to create the initial universal set. Various subsets can now be defined by the specific cards that either have or don't have particular colored dots on them. These set definitions can be represented using a sequence of colored dots and set theory operation symbols that appear on the cubes that are also part of the game. One set might be the set of all cards that have a green dot on them. This would describe four cards from among the initial universal set. Another set description would be green, union red. The union symbol is represented with a U with a, with a little line underneath it to show which way is upright. Green, union red would be the union of the set of all cards with a green dot on them combined with the set of all cards that have a red dot on, on them as well. This would be six cards from this initial universal set. Green intersect red would be represented by a green cube, the symbol for intersection, and a red cube. And this would be the cards that have both a green and a red dot on them. Here's all the cards with a green dot, and the only ones that would remain with this set description would be those that also have a red dot, or three cards. The minus sign represents difference. This expression is the difference between green and red. One would start with the set of all cards with green on them, minus any cards that also have a red dot on them. So this would describe one card. The prime symbol represents negation. The expression red prime describes the set of all cards that do not have any red dot on them. That would be just two cards from out of this initial set. The way the game is played after turning up the initial universal set of cards is a player shakes the cubes that have the color dots and set theory operation symbols on them to generate the resources for that match. After the cubes are shaken, the player who shook the cubes sets a goal with the numerical cubes by moving them down onto the goal line. There are ways of using just a single digit goal from one of the cubes, or one can also add them together vertically. 3 plus 3 would define a goal of 6. Putting two cubes next to each other indicates 2 times 3, or a goal of 6. Any cubes not used in setting the goal are put in the forbidden area of the game board after the goal is set. Once the goal is set, players begin looking for solutions that can be built with the cubes from the available resources to construct a set theory expression that would pull the number of cards from the universal set that is defined by the goal. Players use their solutions to plan moves in the game. Players then take turns making moves, which involve moving a cube from the resources section and placing it in one of the three limitation areas labeled Forbidden, Permitted, or Required, 
Any cube moved to forbidden may no longer be used in constructing a solution. Cubes moved to permitted may be used but don't have to be used. And any cube placed in required must be used in every solution. Players evaluate every move to see if they can correctly challenge it. And that is how you win the game, is by getting into a challenge and being correct. There are three reasons for challenging. You can challenge a move if you feel that no solution is possible anymore. You can challenge if you believe that a solution can be built with just one more cube from the resources section, in addition to those already available and permitted or required. Or you can challenge if you believe that a previous move allowed a solution to be built with one more cube from the resources section. When a challenge occurs, the match stops and appropriate players must write a solution to win. This ends the match and results in scoring. Advanced versions of onsets allow players to also place restrictions that can change the original universal set of cards prior to then submitting a solution that describes a set of cards from among that newly defined universal set. Onsets is a fascinating game full of strategy, intrigue, bluffing, and important fundamental concepts. The complexity of play depends upon the sophistication of the players. Onsets can be played by children as young as eight years old up to the most intelligent of adults. It's an effective way to develop creative thinking and decision-making skills and an understanding of set theory.